Jack, uh, right. Uh, right. first of all, congratulations on the victory. Uh, leading into this fight, I think I read a headline saying you wanted to put a master class performance for your UFC debut. So uh, is that about as perfect as you can for a debut like that? Um, yeah, that's obviously always the plan. Um, I'll have to obviously go back and take a look, and then I'll assess it. <laughs> but overall, I'm pretty pleased with yeah, how it de played out. Yeah, definitely happy with the performance. The win was obviously the most important thing, so getting the win is awesome, and then... Just, I guess, we'll go back to the drawing board, see what we can improve for next time. Well, was there a reason you didn't touch gloves? I think the, uh, the, the broadcast was kind of making something out of it. I, don't, I just tend not to touch gloves. It's not a disrespectful thing, like, um, all respect to Pete. Just, uh, I'd like to just, if we're fighting, I don't know what's the point in going out there and touching gloves. After you dropped him, you kind of, and then you jumped on him. You, had, you landed a couple more punches, and the referee stepped yeah. in. It looked like you put your hands up and like to say something to the ref. Did you think he could have stopped it sooner? Like he didn't think he'd take any more uh, damage? I don't know. It's not my job to be a ref. I just sort of, I went in. I could see that it was probably game over. I went over to, I was about to land a shot. I just sort of gave the ref a chance, but I guess it's not. I just got to go until the ref pulls me off. So. He allowed me to land two more shots, and that's what I had to do to get the win. And earlier in the fight, it, looked, it seemed like you transitioned from, it was either southpaw or orthodox or orthodox southpaw. It was off a checked kick, like you transitioned. So is that part of the game plan, just staying in front of him and kind of switching stances and uh, kind of throw him off his game before you can put him away? Yeah, the game plan was just to chuck the jab out in his face and see what happens, whether the jab was the left hand or the right hand. I was going to just jab him until the shot came, and I feel like that's what happened. The shot came, and I pulled the trigger. Uh, Daniel Cormier said it felt like your opponent had nervous energy in there. Did you feel that from him too? Um, a little bit, you know. Definitely I could feel that he was trying to, he was swinging hard from the get-go and I knew that if I just had have moved out of a shot, he was uh, tended to overcommit to the shot. So I just knew if I had have got the head out of the way and land that shot, it would be there. Um, yeah, I could feel a bit of nervous energy. He's, oh, he's not, to be honest, he's not a ex very experienced opponent. He hasn't been in there multiple times, so I think the nerves would have been high. It was a big event. There's a lot of people out there, so yeah, I could feel it. I don't know if you're someone that likes to have names in mind for your next fight, but when would you like to get back in there after that one? Um, whenever, you know. I've, I'm getting married in March, so probably the fiancé won't be too happy if I fight before then, so... Hopefully, um, yeah, April sounds good to me. Congratulations, no damage on the face for your wedding. Yeah, thank you. Sweet. Is that it? Awesome, thank you.